Hello everyone and welcome to another problem on transfer pricing. This is the third problem in series that we are solving on transfer pricing. By the way, whatever whichever problem we are doing, it is of a different type. So I would recommend you to watch each and every type of problem, each and every video so that you would be aware of all the types of problems that you can probably get in your university examinations based on transfer pricing. Here we go with the question. A company has a policy of fixing the transfer price on cost plus 20% of ROI basis. That means the transfer price is equal to the total cost per unit plus 20% of return on investment. Now the following information is available for us. What do we have is we have fixed assets 12,50,000, we have current assets 7,50,000 and also the debtors are 5 lakh rupees. Annual fixed cost of the division is given to us 20 lakh rupees. But this is in total. For the calculation of total cost per unit, we'll have to divide this by the number of units. Let's see how it could be done when we'll deal with the solution. The variable cost per unit is 50 rupees again. That is per unit now. The budgeted volume over year is 2 lakh units. That means in the whole year, the company has planned to produce 2 lakh units and all the above costs are on the basis of 2 lakh units only. Now, what is expected from us? What are the questions? Number one, determine the transfer price for the division based on the above method that is cost plus 20% of ROI. And secondly, they have given a different scenario. If the volume in units is increased by 10%, if the volume in units increases by 10%, the current assets increase by 2,50,000 rupees. Debtors increase by 2,50,000 rupees. So what will be is its impact on the transfer price? What they have said, see if the volume increases by 10%, this volume which is given to us as 2 lakh units, if it increases by 10%, that means it will go to 2,20,000 units. So if it goes to 2 lakh 20 thousand units the current assets are going to increase by 2 lakh 50 thousand rupees and the debtors will also increase by 2 lakh 50 thousand rupees so what will be its impact on the transfer price that is what is asked over here now let's move to understand the solution of it okay the first question is to calculate the transfer price now we know the method used over here for calculation of transfer prices cost plus 20% of ROI that is given in the question itself. So first we need to calculate the total cost per unit. Here we know that the fixed cost given to us is 20 lakh rupees. Fixed cost given to us in total is 20 lakh rupees. The volume is given to us as 2 lakh units. Number of units produced in the whole year would be 2 lakh units. So if we have to calculate the fixed cost per unit, what we will have to do is divide the total fixed cost by the number of units that is we'll divide 20 lakh rupees by 2 lakh units so 20 lakhs upon 2 lakh gives us 10 rupees per unit fixed cost per unit is 10 rupees per unit that is the fixed cost per unit now variable cost is already given to us in the question variable cost is 50 rupees per unit this is already available in the question itself so to calculate the total cost per unit, what we'll have to do is we'll just have to add fixed cost and variable cost. So fixed cost plus variable cost gives you 10 plus 50, that is 60 rupees per unit. So now we at least have total cost per unit, that is 60 rupees per unit. For the calculation of transfer price, we have to add 20% of ROI. So for that, first we'll need to understand what is ROI. Okay, so first let us calculate ROI. Now to know ROI, we need to know the investments first. What is the total value of investments? Investments includes your fixed assets, current assets and debtors. So it would be 12,50,000, 7,50,000 and 5 lakhs. When we'll add all these three elements, we'll get 25 lakh rupees as the total investment over here. 25 lakh rupees would be the total investment. and expected ROI expected return on investment over here is 20% okay that is what they expect 20% of return on investment now this is investment 
So return on investment is 20 percent. That is 20 upon 100 into the investment. That is 25 lakhs. So 20 upon 100 into 25 lakhs gives us 5 lakh rupees. So 5 lakh rupees is the total expected ROI in rupees. For calculation of transfer price, we'll need this ROI in rupees converted to per unit. Okay, so for that what we'll do, divide the total ROI return on investment that is 5 lakhs by 2 lakh. What is this 2 lakhs? 2 lakhs is nothing but the number of units produced or budgeted units. Okay, so total return on investment divided by number of units will give you the return on investment per unit. It will give you the return on investment per unit that comes to 2.5 rupees per unit. So now once we have got total cost and return on investment per unit, we can easily calculate the transfer price. According to the given method in the question, they have said the transfer price is total cost plus ROI per unit. The company follows this formula of transfer price that is equal to total cost plus return on investment per unit. We know we have calculated the total cost per unit is 60 rupees plus return on investment per unit is 2.5 rupees. So the total transfer price, the transfer price for this company comes down to 62.5 rupees per unit, 62.5 rupees per unit. That is 62 rupees 50 paise per unit is the transfer price as per the given information for the company. This was the first question, the solution to the first question or the first part of this question. Let's move to the second part, the scenario that they have given to us. Yes, the scenario given to us is if the volume increases by 10%, if the total budgeted volume, if it increases by 10%, the new volume would be 2,20,000 units. Why? Because we know the original number of units budgeted were 2 lakh units. 10% of 2 lakhs would be 20,000. So when we add 10%, that is 20,000 to the original volume of 2 lakh rupees, what will happen is the total budgeted volume will now come to 2,20,000 units. The impact of this is already given in the question. They said because the volume is increased by 10%, the current assets required would increase by 2.5 lakhs. That is 2,50,000 rupees. Original current assets given in the question are 7,50,000 plus the addition of 2,50,000 because of the additional volume. The total of current assets comes to 10 lakh rupees. So the total current assets come to 10 lakh rupees. Debtors will also increase what they have said. If you increase the volume by 10%, the debtors will also increase by 2.5 lakhs. That is original debtors were 5 lakhs plus the new volume, the, the new value of debtors 2,50,000. Total value of debtors comes to 7,50,000 rupees. The total value of debtors comes to 7,50,000 rupees. Now, we'll have to consider the new investment now. For calculation of ROI, we'll consider the new investment. So that the formula would be same fixed assets plus current assets plus debtors. Here we know fixed assets are 12,50,000 that has not changed. Current assets has changed to 10 lakh rupees and debtors have also changed to 7.5 lakh that is 7,50,000 rupees. So fixed assets plus current assets plus debtors, the total comes to 30 lakh rupees. So the total investment in this case now would be 30 lakh rupees. ROI is estimated at 20%, 20% of the investment that is 20 upon 100 multiplied by 30 lakhs. 20% of 30 lakhs is 6 lakhs rupees. So the total return on investment expected is 6 lakh rupees. So ROI per unit, return on investment per unit would be now when you have to calculate the return on investment per unit, we'll have to divide this total return on investment by number of units. 6 lakhs divided by 2,20,000. Why 2,20,000? Because this is the new investment that we have received. No, sorry, this is the new number of units. The new budget by adding 10% of the original volume, the, two, the, the new number of units is 2,20,000. So, so it comes to 2.72 rupees per unit return on investment per unit comes to 2.72 rupees per unit it comes to 2 rupees 72 paise 
per unit. So for calculation of transfer price, what we'll do is nothing. Transfer price is total cost plus return on investment. Total, total cost is 60 rupees that we already know and return on investment now has changed to 2 rupees 72 paise. So the total transfer price per unit comes to 62 rupees 72 paise. Previously it was 62.5 rupees per unit. Now it is 62.72 rupees per unit. So because of the changed scenario, what we see over here is the transfer price has increased by 22 paise per unit. The transfer price increases by 22 paise or 0.22 rupees per unit. That is the impact of the change in volume given in the second scenario. So in this way, now if you all see here, in this question, they have not asked you to take any decision. So when they have not asked, you just have to calculate and give the proper answers and give the proper solution to it. That's it. I hope you, underst you understood this question. If you still have got any queries, any problems, you can comment in the, uh, in the comment section. You can ask uh, below this video, you can ask all your queries and your queries would be resolved. Thank you all.